Hello, this is Carl James Lankford in my video blog for the 25th of August, Monday 2014. And today's short video blog is dedicated to Sir Richard Attenborough. Now, he passed away yesterday on the 24th of August. And weirdly enough, I'd been looking on iPlayer the past few days before Richard Attenborough passed away and I was thinking whether I should watch in which we serve and I decided to watch it today as my dedication to Richard Attenborough is one of his uh, very early films that you see Richard as uh, as a stoker, an actor in it, and you immediately feel when you're watching it alongside some of the greats of the day that this guy almost seemingly is acting as if he's been acting for decades. And got to mention the uh, Great Escape. <laughs> Watching The Great Escape you see Richard Attenborough, very deep character as he usually was in many of his films. And you see it through in his deepness and serious level in, um, in Gandhi and his, his move from acting to being a director. And you watch Gandhi, which uh, apparently was filmed over five years. And you see that he's not only skilled at being an actor, he's skilled at being a director. Obviously understanding what he would need in direction as an actor. And you see that brought through as a director. And the only thing I can remember from Richard Attenborough his face coming through time and time again. Yes, I'm going to mention it. Jurassic Park. But he came across in Jurassic Park as a as a lovely fluffy figure, which most people say. Well, everybody said that's what he was in his real life. Listening to BBC Radio Two today, listening to. The dedications on the Jeremy Vine show, they were all positive, painted a wonderful character, as big in film as he was in life. And uh, figuring Jurassic Park was, uh, remember the quote where he says, oh, well I don't think I'll endorse Jurassic Park either. <laughs> he, he really played a fluffy figure then and he and he paid uh, in the later, um, I think it was in the third version of Jurassic Park, uh, somebody, he was being portrayed as somebody who was uh, getting old. And uh, he was getting old. He died when he was 19, a few days short of being 19. So uh, my dedication to Richard Attenborough, uh, love to his family, be a great loss. And along with Robin Williams very recently, and another acting talent, we we see that uh, none of us have got, uh, none of us will live on forever. And we've got to make the best of what we do. So it does bury you on, but with some sadness. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this very uh, lightweight video blog. And in a way, it spurs us on to just do that a little bit more. Anyway, this is Carl James Lankford for my video blog on the 25th of August 2014. Uh, rest in peace, Richard Attenborough. But you'll always go on. Thank you.